Hi guys and welcome to the 60 second fundamental where I go over one fundamental of the golf swing in 60 seconds. The clock starts now. Hi guys, in today's 60 second fundamental we're going to talk about how to eliminate the snap hook and to get a little bit of a fade on the ball. So as we talked about in our draw video, as I'm coming inside, I actually want my face to be on the outside of the ball to get it to curve right to left. Well, the exact opposite is going to happen if I'm hooking too much. So we can imagine if we're looking at this golf ball. The common theme to try to hit a little bit of a fade is to swing right to left across the ball. When we visualize that, we imagine hitting the outside of the ball. In reality, our face is going to be a little bit open as we're coming right to left. And I'm actually going to be making contact on this side of the ball. So if I imagine a vertical line, I want my face to be contacting here as I'm swinging right to left across the ball. So if we go ahead and throw a ball down here, as I swing from right to left, my face is going to be slightly open and I'm going to be contacting just on the inside of the ball. Let's go ahead and try that out, see if I can get a nice fade on the ball. There we go, that was about a 10 or 15 yard fade turned over left to right, that'll get rid of your snap hooks if you're struggling with those. Work on that drill, hit the inside of the ball, and you'll get rid of the hook. All right, so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Now, we're gonna be putting up a lot more content in the future, so be sure to subscribe by clicking the button at the top of your screen. That way you can see our latest content absolutely for free. I've also got a bonus for you guys, which is a lag video. It's gonna help you build massive amounts of lag in your downswing, and about five or six bonus videos you're gonna get on the site with that too. So all in all, you're gonna to get tons of great instruction absolutely for free. Just click the link that pops up on the right-hand side of your screen or down below in the description if you're joining us on a mobile device. Good luck, and I'll see you in the lag video. Hi guys, and welcome back. I'm Clay Ballard, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about one of the absolute worst drills for creating lag. It's a very common drill that I see. And in this drill, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the wrist very early to create an angle of lag, and then we're gonna to try to hold this throughout the swing. It's one of the worst things that you, can, that you can do to build lag. I'm going to talk about the science behind why this is the case, and I'm also going to give you a great drill to help you improve your lag all in this video. Let's go ahead and get started. I do it this way versus holding that position. Exact same thing happens when we're building lag in the golf swing. So what we want to do is throughout the swing, I want to have a very low and wide takeaway. So I'm not going to set my wrist early at all. If you look at a lot of the top players, you look at uh, Adam Scott, very wide takeaway, not very much wrist set at all. You look at Roy McIlroy, look at Tiger Woods, all these players are using a wide takeaway and not getting very much wrist set so that later in the swing, as we start down, we can increase this wrist set and we're really only gonna max out this angle of lag for a split second in the downswing. Okay, so a three-step drill here. Now, as we get started with this, I want to remind you that the fulcrum in this golf club for getting a massive amount of lag is right at the end of the golf club. This is where I want my hinge point to be. I want to use the full length of this club to build lag and then release lag. 